beloved, our theme for this morning is the great question. And the gospel readings are recorded in Matthew 9, 28 and Mark 9, 23, 24. And it reads as follows. Matthew 9, 28. When he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him and he asked them, Do you believe? that I am able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. Mark 9, 23, 24. If you can, said Jesus, everything is possible for one who believes. Immediately, the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. This is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now, beloved, the story is about blind men who appealed for the healing. And this time around they appeal and petition their request to the right person, Jesus Christ. I want to speak to, and when he was come into the house, in which he dwelt, while he was at Capernaum, for he took no notice of them by the way. But though they followed him closely and cried out loudly, he did not stop to speak to them and give them a cure according to their request but went on his way which he did partly to avoid the crowd and that he might not be seen by men in what he did and partly to try their faith and to test it and the consistency of their faith. So there are three things Jesus did. When he saw and heard the appeal and request, he firstly did not respond to it because he didn't want to be seen by people. And the other fact is that he wanted to test their faith in what they want and how consistent they are. The blind men came to him, beloved. Like we bring our trials, tribulations, our challenges to God through Jesus Christ. Be directed by others into what house he went and where he was and very probably with the leave of Jesus Christ and Jesus asked them the question do you believe that I am able to do this That is to have mercy on them as he requested by curing them of their blindness, which though not expressed, beloved, is implied that is the thing designed. This huge and big question do you believe? God has been ignorant of. Or as doubting their faith in him no which they obviously had expressed in calling him the son of David and had shown the firmness and consistency of it by following him though he took no notice of them but partly for the further trial of their faith. 
and to bring them to a more open confession of it as to do this particular his power to cure them of their blindness and partly for the sake of those that were in the house. Yes, Lord, they replied. They firmly believed he had the power to do it. They had not the least doubt and hesitation in their minds about it. For though their body, the eyes were blind and encountered present darkness, the eyes of the understanding were enlightened to see and know Jesus to be the true Messiah, yes, David's son and Lord of all. We also face our Blindness in other forms this morning. Blindness and can no longer see our sins, yet our sinful nature. But Christ for the answer for that. If we ask the question, do you believe Christ can take your blindness away? The blindness to sin, yes. The blindness to things that cause us to sin, yes. My appeal is that we turn to Christ and answer this question. Do you believe this morning Christ can change your things? Change your things to this difficult situation but I know you promised that you hear our prayers so I want to try praying now Lord please be our comfort our support our strength and our shield please help us overcome all that the enemy tries to throw our way help us depend on you and find great joy and peace from your presence Lord I thank you for always loving us and never leaving us. Heavenly Lord, may we trust in you with all our heart from this day until our last. God, our lives haven't turned out the way we expected at times. And we are equally grateful, tired and full of questions. Teach us, Father, how to be our strength in our weakness. Show us how not to be afraid of tomorrow, to believe that you are in control. 
Remind us that your grace is enough. Lord, meet us in our expectations. Fill us with joy. Fill us with peace. And let our lives brim over with hope. Provide us with what we need when we need it to make it through this. Lord, give us the eyes we need to see how you are working everything out for our good. God, help us to be brave and not give up. Keep us looking to you when we feel like we can't anymore. May our eyes and our hearts always be expecting you to get here soon to revive us. Lord, may your strength be our song and salvation. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.